doing great, man. You are moving into a great spot. There you go. All right. We are setting up our meeting for YouTube Live. Remember, everybody, if you need to have some water, we got to be drinking our water, too. There goes Chris. He's cruising on out of the way over there. All right. We got that turned down. Got it right there. Okay, everybody. We got that green screen. We got our camera screen. We got our multiple screens. We also have, remember, our studio stage right there where Chris is getting set up. But Nick, go ahead. Let's head on over to that green screen. Let's get our first background up because remember, everybody, we have friends who like to share things with us, things like artwork. And sometimes we have friends who like to share things like the breathing motto. So here we have a combination of the breathing motto and a Christmas tree. And I just think it is so cool. Nick, you got that ball? All right, remember, we talked about it. It's going to be a challenge. Go ahead and find that seat on the ball. There you go, man. Great job, everybody. Nick's going to be doing his workout today, doing the warm-up. We are going to be seated. On... <clears throat> there we go. We're going to be seated on a stability ball. And again, you can see this ball wants to get moving around. There you go. Nice job. You can feel those legs working already, huh? That's those stabilizer muscles. Chris is getting himself set up over here. And everybody, again, we got Sandy's tree. We got Jed in the house joining us, too. And remember, if you got to have some water, that's what you got to do. All right. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be sitting in this chair right over here. You coming on over, Chris? All right. Come on over, buddy. And we're just hanging out. Just three guys hanging out by the Christmas tree, getting ready for a holiday workout. It is hard. Do you want to sit in the chair? You want me to sit on the ball? No, stay on the ball. You got it. Keep your feet down. Stay, stay leaning over. You can put your hands on your knees if you want to. There you go. All right, everybody. So again, Nick right here, he is getting a feel for the stability ball. They call it a Swiss ball sometimes. All right, Chris, you coming on over this way? Scoot on back here. All right, everybody. And again, welcome to the Fitness Friday workout. We're here. We're doing our functional workout. It's a holiday season. You doing good? You want to sit in the chair? No. You got it? Yeah. There you go. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Remember, everybody, you can find little challenges like this in all kinds of aspects of our day to day life. Come on, Chris. Make that turn. You're doing good. Nice job, buddy. And we got Chris right here coming into the studio. Nice. We can turn this just a little bit here. We're going to get Chris, bring him in more here. We're going to get this breathing motto going. All right, everybody. So we had an idea on our breathing motto that we're going to be doing. Okay. And so is we're going to do the three amigos here. Are you ready? We're going to do what we practiced. And I'm going to be moving this microphone around. Let's get it all ready. Here we go. We got, we're still working on getting our new microphone set up. We got this one going. So everybody get ready. We got our Christmas tree. We got our breathing motto. Thank you, Sandy. It is beautiful. And let's get ready, everybody. Five, four, three. Do in one end, we did the dude. We up back. Breathe in the happy and breathe in the dead. Breathe in your best and breathe out the worst and breathe in your bower so that you can reach your goals for first. So you can reach those goals for every day, right? Every day. 365 days every day, Chris. Great job, man. Great job. So that was something we thought of would be fun for the breathing motto. And again, we practiced that a little bit. But remember, when you're trying something new, whether it's exercise or whether it's a new song or whether it's a motto that you're doing with your friends, remember the first few times you try it and it's new, it might not go super smooth. But then as you keep practicing, you're going to get better and better and better. And that's how it is with all of exercise. So let's go ahead. We're going to change our backdrop up. I don't know about you, but I remember producer Ben was mentioning that it is starting to feel cold. And I'll tell you what, if it's cold in San Diego, you know it is getting cold. So we got a snowman up here on the screen. Chris, you ready to do this? Yeah. You know, power down. You're going to hang out here. All right, Nick, let's get ready for it. Remember, Nick's on that stability ball. He's up to his challenge for this exercise. And here we go. And again, we got this cool snowman. Let's move our head around in a circle, kind of thinking that we're maybe moving around 
looking down at the snow, maybe looking up at the sky. Now, even in San Diego, we got a little bit of frost, which means everywhere else definitely probably got some snow. You got some boss, Boston got some snow. Chris heard out there in Boston from his cousins. If you're Chris's cousins and you're watching right now, what are their names? Uh, Lenny. Lenny? And... That's all right. That's all right. When you remember, let me know. Remember, we want all the cousins to watch. We want everybody to get involved. Let's move our head from side to side. Let's look over here. Let's turn our head to the right. And then we're going to turn our head to the left. We're going to do 10 of these. Because remember, we want to loosen up our neck. Now, look at this snowman. He's got a red scarf. But I don't know if a snowman even really has a neck. He just kind of has his upper body. And then he's got his head. But we don't have it like that. We actually have a neck. And the, the neck is going to support the head. And it's also going to help to keep our spinal cord and everything safe so that our body can send signals throughout the entire body. All the electricity in our body, it's going to go through our neck. All right, nice. Let's do some down and up. So this is where we're just going to tuck our chin. And then we're going to be looking up like we're trying to catch some snow flurries. And so we got them up, we're waiting on the snow to fall and let's look down, check the ground. I don't see any snow. It looks like it's melt. Nick sees some snow. Let's get our heads up. Try to catch some snow in your mouth. There we go. Keep your eyes up and then bring your chin down. Let's tuck that chin and then let's bring our head right back up again. Lifting our head up, keeping our chin up high, looking up at that snowman and bringing it down. Remember, snowman can't do this. A snowman, snowman doesn't have a neck. So he, his head can only be in one position. You know, a snowman, you never see them moving their head around because they can't, they don't have a neck, but you can. And you can have the power to do it just like tucking your chin and then bringing your head right up, up into the sky. All right, and relax. So remember, we're warming up our head. We're warming up our neck and our shoulders. We're going to get ready for a, a great big workout. We got a lot of things that we're going to be doing, but we always want to kind of have a nice traditional warm up that gets our body kind of head to toe ready to go. So the next one we're going to do is going to be ear, ear lift. He's calling ear lift. So remember, again, snowman can't do this, but we can. All right. So you're ready, Chris? Yeah. We got to lift up that ear. We got to bring that ear like we're trying to hear, like the snowman's whispering to me. I can't hear what he's got to say. And I'm going to stretch out my neck right here. My, All. My trapezius. That's right, Nick. Bringing that trapezius. We're, we're moving our deltoid down and we're lifting our head up at the ear. And there we go. You can see the difference in my head. It was a little over and then I kind of lift it up and then back in the middle. Let's do one more each way. So I'm lifting my head, lifting my ear. I got a little ear lift. Nice job. And then going back over this way, lifting our ear. You're going to feel it right here in kind of the back of your neck and the side of your neck and back down. All right. The last one we're going to do for our head. Remember, this is the giraffe neck and the turtleneck. Turtle, giraffe, yeah, giraffe head, turtleneck, turtle. I don't know. Either way, it's a great one to do where we got to reach our head out far like a giraffe. We got to try to get into those trees to get and you're going to feel a stretch. We're going to feel a stretch through your neck. And it's like we think the snowman's arm's a branch. And then we got to bring it back in like a turtle. Bring it in. There you go, Chris. Tuck away. Get tucked away. Tuck away. And then bring it back out. Giraffe neck. Reach it out, Chris. Over your knees. Reach in it out. Get that head out there. Reach in it out. Reach that chin out there. And then tuck it away. Tucking it away. There we go. Hiding it. Hiding. We're trying to hide. And then let's get back out. Get back out there. This is, might be like a little gopher, you know, or a prairie dog looking around, look around. And then bring it back in, hiding in his gopher hole. All right, you got one more time. Here we go. Reach it out with your head. Bring it out, Chris. Bring it out. Bring, bring it out. There you go. And then bring it back in. Three, two, Ooh, hey. one. Nice. All right, everybody. Remember, you're going to probably feel a difference now right here in your body. If you just did those exercises maybe five or ten times with us, you're going to notice that you're maybe feeling a little more connected with your neck. And you're going to maybe feel like, well, now we can start to work down the body and warm up some more muscles. So 
the next group of muscles that we want to work on is our shoulder. That's right. Our deltoids. Nick is learning because remember, Nick, he's going to be a trainer. He's in training apprentice program right now. And me and him and Chris, we've been working on all kinds of things here in the studio. Maybe you want to be a trainer for some of your friends, like some of our team leaders. Well, remember, that's what True Fit's all about. That's what our program is all about. And that's what we want to bring to you is the ability to help others. What's that, Chris? I want to try to walk. You want to try to do some walking? We can do that, man. We can do that. All right. We just got to remember, we got to make the right team, right? It's all about teamwork. When we have big goals, it's about finding a team to help us achieve those goals. I'm proud of you, Chris, for bringing that up, man. And you know, every time you bring up something here in the studio, it ends up happening. You've seen that at home too. Chris has already had some really great adventures here with TrueFit and Nick. We're going to get you in the water soon, buddy. We're going to get you out surfing soon as we can. Uh, maybe on the 26th. Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's move those elbows. Let's pretend we're in the water, maybe doing the kayak row. This is one of Byron's great exercises. This is where we're moving those elbows. And you can see I'm still working out my shoulders, but we're kind of moving the elbow is where your thoughts are going, okay? You know, even if my arms were doing one at a time, there you go, Chris, let's move those elbows. Let's get some elbow action. There you go. Remember, we're thinking about the, the, elbow. the elbow here. We're thinking about the elbow and we're using our mind and we're thinking maybe lift that elbow up and down, move it backwards, move it forwards, move it side to side. Remember, up and down, up and down side to side rotation. That's all of those movements that we got. Let's do about five more. Chris, let's go five more. There you go. Moving that elbow. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Now the next one you got to do, arm circles. If you're sitting near some John, friend, we had maybe... some, something in the chat. Does, does Chris want to do the rope today? Yeah. Oh, yes. We got a rope challenge coming. You saw it for a little bit, Ben. Who was that asking? Carrie was. You know it, Carrie. Carrie, I got something special. And I can't wait to show you. And yes, we do. We are going to have a rope challenge today. We might have two rope challenges today. I think, oh, I think oh. we will. Well, we got the, we got the video. Oh, yeah. You saw the video. All right. So we got a surprise video that's going to be coming up. Right now, we're going to do those arm circles. Nick's going to be doing arm circles out to the side. I'm going to do arm circles straight ahead. Chris, I want you to do any kind of arm circle you want to do. And that's going to keep us from bumping into each other. If you're at home, I want you to do any arm circle you want to do. And we're going to do 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, and 20 more. Keep moving, everybody. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Go, Chris. 13. Go, Nick. 12. 11, go you, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Snowman can't do that. I didn't feel it. You can feel it? You feeling it? Yeah. That's good, man. Here, let's bring this over this way. There you go. All right. Good job, guys. Remember, snowman can't do that. Snowman's got arms. His, his arms are made out of tree branches. And those tree branches, they can't move forward and backward, and they can't move side to side, and they definitely can't do rotation. So we got to remember that we can do that, and we want to try to communicate with our body using our thoughts and then making those thoughts become action, and that's what's going to really get us to unlock all of our potential. Unlike the snowman here, where he's going to be kind of in a tough spot if he needs to do anything with his arms like the witch's pot coming up next. You ready for the witch's pot, Chris? All right, remember everybody, the witch's pot, we're gonna have our two hands together. This is like we're stirring that cauldron. All right, maybe it's a hot gumbo. Maybe we got what could be our bondi guys. We talked about that. What else do we got? What else could we have that's really good to stir up? What do you like that's all stirred up? Chicken noodle soup? Keeps, keeps the vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Come on, Chris, we gotta stir. We got a big pot of vegetable soup up here and they are getting stuck to the bottom. So there you go. Reach up with your arms. 
reach out, bring it back. So there you go, reaching out and then bringing it back. Nice. Find that pattern. So you're going out and remember to breathe. There you go. Nice. Now you can breathe and move. Sometimes your body, it might want you to stop. And you might think, I got to stop. I got to stop what I'm doing. But maybe you just got to breathe. Sometimes when your body is requiring you to slow down or stop, it's because you might be holding your breath or you might not be breathing the way you need to for the activity. So even something like the witch's pot here. Come on, Chris, here we go. When you try real hard, you got to remember to breathe. And rest. All right. How about teacup? Oh my gosh, as I was saying teacup, Nick starts doing the teacup. You ready, Chris? Bring it up high. Get that teacup up here. Bring it up. There you go, man. Nice job. Get it going. Nice. Now the other way. All right, everybody. Let's do about 20. Remember, you can do a teacup. You can go up over the top, or you can do a teacup where you're going to tip over off the side, you know, so you tip over and pour out, or maybe you're doing a reach over the top. Here we go, Chris, get it again. Another five up top, up top. Bring it up, bring it up. Keep it going. Breathe and move. Breathe and reach. Yes, nice job. Nice job. Go for it. There we go. Bring it up again, Nick. There we go. Nick, and high five. And Chris, high five. Keep going, everybody at home. Remember, pretend if you want that we're on the Brady Bunch. We got all our friends around us. Go for it, Chris. Get those high fives. Get those high fives. Like we're up on top of the mountain. We got two more to go. Two more teacup twists. And relax. Nice job. One more five up top. You feeling that? You did a lot of right arm with that, man. That's good stuff. Remember, sometimes you're going to have one arm stronger than the other arm. It's okay to sometimes give that super strong arm a break and work with your other strong arm, try to get them to get caught up. And a lot of that is going to come through being very, very thoughtful. You're going to have to be even more thoughtful. And, you know, imagine I'm a, I'm a right-handed. You might be right-handed. You might be left-handed. He's left-handed. I'm right-handed. And what I want to challenge you to do maybe today or this weekend is something that you would normally do maybe with your right hand, try to do it with your left hand, maybe like doing brushing your teeth. Maybe if you're stirring a pot on the on the sink or something like that or again if you're doing something to where you'd normally be moving items with your right hand maybe try to only move them with your left hand and see how quickly your brain gets comfortable with doing that other kind of movement now what else do we need to do nick we got the side twist so chris let's go ahead and reach it out so this unlike the teacup we're now going across our midline and going sideways with this so we got to reach over here I'm getting Chris on the high five over here. Nick's going across that way. Nice job. There we go. Oh, we got Nick right there. Me and Nick getting the high five here. Chris is getting the high five there. Twisting back and forth. Nice job, everybody. Everybody at home, give us some twisting. I'm going to stand up. Keep twisting at home. I'm going to do a couple more twists. I'm going to move my chair right here. I'm going to get in between my friends. And remember, if you're at home and you're standing up, you might want to do this with your knees bent a little bit. And we're going to twist over. And then here we go. Here we go, Chris. You got to get it on. Here we go. Right there. And we're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Get it, get it, get it. Nice job. Nice job. There you go. Head up straight, nice and tall. There you go. Breathe. Nice job, guys. All right. So remember, one of the things you can do, if you're working out with some of your friends, and you want to try to add like a sense of urgency, you can do that. Sometimes you can get right in the middle and we can speed things up by providing a target. Okay. That also is going to bring up some awareness with our eyes and our hand coordination. So remember back in the day, we used to do those games where we'd clap and sometimes do a, a five and something like that, you know, clapping and all that. And so those were great activities to help us improve our hand coordination and also our ability for our eyes to recognize a target and to go out and to reach that target. So the next one let's do, this one's gonna be the ground touch. So I'm standing up, Nick's on the stability ball. Nice job, Nick. Chris, sitting down. I remember you're gonna be going for a full reach. He's gonna be going down as far as he can. He's got on similar shoes like me. He's going for the wheel on the chair. Nice job, Chris. And now switch it over to the right side. 
So just like Chris, I'm gonna be going down with just one hand at a time. I'm gonna go with my left hand down to the ground and then I'm gonna push up with my left hand. Now I'm gonna go with my right hand down to the ground and then I'm gonna push back up. So remember on Wednesday, I was doing this with two hands and you can do that too. If you wanna to go to the ground with put two hands down, remember you're gonna bend your knees. So watch my knees are gonna bend and my butt's gonna stick out a little bit because that's gonna help me to get low. So when, I, when you stick out your butt, your body, it will lower down and it's got a lot of friends, a lot of muscles to help you do that, all right? Our backside and our legs, those are some of the biggest muscles in our body and they have a really good role in helping to slow us down when we're going towards the ground sometimes if we're moving too fast. So what you can do is train those muscles to help you move real slow. Let's see how slow I can go. I'm moving real slow. If you see right now, you got enough time to look because look how, look at how slow I'm moving. Now, this is a great exercise, all right? If you're trying this at home with me, you've now started to feel it in your quadriceps and you have to keep reminding yourself to keep lowering down. Now this gets pretty technical because I'm still going slowly to the ground. I still haven't touched it. And now I'm on the ground and I'm back up. But that one, you did about five and I did one. Did you see that, Chris? But that's okay because that one, the entire time I'm moving my body, my muscles were, they were under tension. And, and when we put our muscles, there you go, Nick's trying to slow into, when you put your muscles under tension for a long amount of time, you can really train them to be uh, aware. You can train those muscles to be ready and you can train them to be able to, again, sometimes slow the body down. Mary says she can go in front of herself now. She used to not be able to do that. Yes, really, Ben. Say that again. She can go, she can, she can pull her, she can go, go in front of herself, right? bend down and go in front. She used to not be able to do that. That is awesome. That is an awesome update. Thank you, Carrie. And, and again, that is showing flexibility, but it's also showing the body is trusting itself. Remember me and Chris on Wednesday, we talked a lot about how your muscles, they need, the brain needs to trust them. And sometimes we're able to improve that trust by doing fitness and practice. Now, let me show you um, something I got here. I picked this up at the, I was at a discount store and I went there to get my, my wife. She wanted to get an exercise ball. She saw us using it in the workouts. She's like, I want one at home. So we went and we got an exercise ball. I believe it cost us $8. And then I saw this band. This was $4. And this was a great stretchy band. What's neat about this stretchy band, if you can see, it has a little bit of like a, a extra, like it's got um, a little coat on, like a little pair of socks. And it covers what that's for is so that if the band breaks, it won't have the big snap that you would expect. And really these bands are designed to, to really not break and to be very, very stretchy. And that is gonna keep the, the band in place. So again, just like those muscles, you wanna have that, you know, if my muscles being stretched and this band is just natural, these are my muscles, and then I stretch it, well now those muscles are gonna be under a new kind of thought process of what they have to do and how they communicate with the, with the brain. So why I'm showing you that is because I want you to think about your muscles talking to your brain. And just like me and, and Nick were doing right here, we were slow in that exercise down. Sometimes doing an exercise slow, it's a great way to work on that communication with the brain. What else we got? We got knee circles, elbow circles. You want to do seated elbow circles? Yeah. Okay. Chris, you want to go for elbow circles? All right. And I'm going to do some knee circles. Remember, snowman can't do this snowman doesn't have any knees no. no knees on a snowman no elbows on a snowman so we got to move it because we got it so we got to move it there you go chris try to bring them in the middle there you go bringing them in the middle moving it all around moving it all around round and round like a snowman up and, down. up and down there you go nick's got up and down i can move my knees kind of forward and backwards side to side i can move my knees and rotation Excellent job. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right, next up, just like we were working on there with that high five handshake, let's work on our wrists. All right. Snowman can do this. Snowman's got sticks for wrists, but we have articulating wrists. We have wrists that can move down and up. They can move side to side and they can move in rotation. They slide over each other. The bones in here, they're so cool. Our wrists are amazing. We, we would, it's tough for people, to humans, to build something as cool as the wrist and the ankles, but we got them. We got lucky. We didn't have to build them ourselves. We got these and they're neat. Also our ankles, oh, look at this. I got shoes on today. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take off my shoes. Whatever, here we go up and down. Me and Chris got the same shoes on. You like them, Chris? Mm -hmm. I like them too. They're come at, around the campsite. Can't be beat. Side to side, around the house, and they dry off so quick. And then rotation. Rotation, moving it around. Let's do some with the wrist, Chris. Let's move a little bit of wrist movement. Let's go one more round of up and down. Do everything up and down. I'm doing the trifecta. Up and down, up and down. Moving it around. Is that Karen on there? What's Karen saying yeah, on there? A What's... Nice crock. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Also, happy birthday to you. We missed you the other day. But my mom was like, guess what? It's Karen's birthday. So happy oh, birthday. Bernie says water break. Hope it was a great day. All right. Bernie says water break after we're done with the warm-up. Say again, Ben. Bernie says water break. Good call, Bernie. Good call. All right. Is this yours, Nick? No. No? Where'd that come from? Is this yours? All right, water break, everybody. Good call, Bernie. It is. It is. But how do you how do you like the challenge? Is it okay? I didn't feel it and my do other step and my hamstring. Your quadricep and your hamstrings? Yeah. What about in, in your core too? Yeah. Right? And that's and, and sometimes people even will call this like a core ball. Because like Nick is feeling, he has now been sitting on that ball for about 25 minutes. Okay, now imagine if you had the opportunity to sit on a surface like that for about 25 minutes, your body, like he mentioned, the legs and above the core is going to be getting a workout the whole time. All right, good sips of water. Everybody's drinking water. Now, something else you can think about when you are maybe in a seated position here chris let's put this over here oh john did you get carrie's email yes i did carrie and i'm gonna i'm actually gonna send you some stuff today before the fitness social i'll be on my computer and i'll be able to type up some some great things to help out with that i got some great ideas especially coming back from that world championships there was a lot a lot of going up ramps it was a lot of going up ramps and a lot of my friends and some of the techniques, there's some good techniques. All right. So the next one we're going to do, what do we got? We got eyes. We got deep breath and smiles. All right. So here we go. So let's do this. We're going to do, we're going to change it up a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to make it up as I go. So get ready for this. We're going to do eyes, smile and breath hold, but we're going to do them one, two, three. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do eye circles. Let's do two eye circles, moving our eyes around the room. There's one and two. Let's do a big smile and then breathe in and hold your breath. Let's do another eye circle, two times. Eye circle, one, eye circle, two. Big smile, breathe out, breathe in and hold. One more time. Here we go. Two eye circles. One. Two. Big smile. Breathe out. <sighs> Breathe in and hold. <sighs> oh, I like nice. It. Nice. So remember, everybody, part of that change up was to get us all to have to get our brain to think about what we're doing. This wasn't like a normal eye movement, breath hold, or smile exercise. This was a combination. And so when we were transitioning 
from maybe the eye circles to the smile, our mind was processing that next move and maybe even thinking about the next move ahead of that, which was going to be the breath hold. And that's what's really neat with exercises that we can take multiple movements and stack them on top of each other and really teach our brain to not only be able to work in the moment, but to be thinking about what's coming and to be prepared for that too. So super important stuff that we got to do. And next up, I think we got leadership. Yeah. Leadership. Let's bring up some leadership. Let's bring up Byron first up. Byron with the flow. Uh, ben, let's go ahead. We're going to have split okay. screen with Nick on this one. Nick is going to be trying to keep track. Chris, are you ready to go to the studio? We're going to get set up over there. All right. Here, Nick, go ahead and have another sip of water, and I'm going to get you your equipment. Now, remember, the equipment Nick's going to be needing for this exercise is a sandbag. You can do this standing up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then Bernie will be next after Byron. All right. And then Bernie's coming up next after Byron. All right. I'll take your water bottle. Thank you. Take a deep breath. Now, remember, whenever you're doing a challenge, you want to always take deep breaths. You want to stay calm in your mind. Remind yourself that we're having fun and that all of our workouts are just about having a good time and having fun. And so do we have Byron up on the screen? Yes, we do. All right. Let me, uh, let me get this out of my way so I can. There we go. Oh, Byron, are you going to start off with the stick first or the sandbag? Stick. All right. Here we go. Nick's got the stick right here. All right. Nick, you want to keep the snowman up? Yeah. All right. We're going to leave that snowman up on here. All right, Byron, whenever you're ready, go ahead and. Take it away. All right. He's already started. He's doing the side to side. He's doing the teeter totter right there. So he's got the stick on the ground doing the teeter totter going back and forth from right side to left side, right side. There you go. And you can see Nick's following along. Oh, now Byron's doing a witch's pot with one hand. Right hand is going out. It's stirring the pot. Remember everybody, we got our combo workout going on. We got a leader. And we have a student right now following each other's lead. Nick can see Byron. Byron, he can't see Nick. So Byron's just leading away, following his instincts. He's switched up. You can see he's got that arm outstretched. Now he took a step forward and he's working on a stretch. He's working on a stretch through the hips and the arm. And Nick's got that stretch going too. Now Byron's got that other arm stretched out and he's got the foot stance going with a, a staggered stance. Nice job, Byron. There he is. He's all set up and he's going with a baton spin. There you go. Nick's bringing that baton spin in. Nice job, Nick. Try to hold it in the middle. There you go. And there you go. Byron spinning that baton. Nick is following along. I should be singing a great song. All right, here we go. Tapping it on the ground, doing a spin. There you go. Nick's following that move. And now we're going for the metal detector. He's reaching out far away. Is there any metal over there? He's reaching out again. He's looking. Is there any metal over there? He's on the beach looking for the gold. Where did it go? Oh, now he's holding that stick up by his chest. He's holding the stick up high. Nick's going to match him. Nick's got his hand. There you go. There you go, Byron. All right. Byron's doing great leadership, doing the chest press. Remember, everybody, this is going to work out your shoulders. And this is using those triceps and shoulders. You're reaching the stick out in front of your body. And remember, if you were on the ground doing this, you'd be doing the push up. But with the stick, you'd be doing a, a chest press or a forward reach. Great moves, Byron. Nick's following along. He's reaching out. He's holding it up. Now we're doing the low squat, bending down and got the stick on our knees for a little bit of support. Nice balance right there. There you go. Nick's in the low squat position. Byron's holding it. So this is the tension. Remember that band being stretched. This is the same. Your muscles, and now we're back up. Your muscles are holding that stretch. Just like I had to hold the band. That takes energy. There you go. Byron's got a great square shoulder position right here. Very good stability coming from the arms and from the stick on the knees. And he's back up. Stick is back up by the chest. Now it's going overhead. Nice job, Byron. Give us a couple more with the stick, and then let's switch it up to the sandbag. Oh. Byron's doing an overhead reach. This is military style stuff right here. He's doing the baton spin like the flag spin. He's got the military press going. He's got it like he's 
marching down the parade and he's reaching out. I think he's setting the stick down. He's switching out to the sandbag. And remember everybody, we teach you how to make these sandbags. Get on that app, get on the website and follow those instructions. You can make a sandbag for about a dollar. All right, Byron's going right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. There you go, Nick, keep watching. Right hand, left hand, Byron's in the orange, Nick's in the blue. Going right hand, left hand, switch in and out. Back and forth, moving at your own speed. Nice job. Nick's moving a little bit backwards. Remember, he's got a screen behind him. He can't move too far back. But Byron's got a big room there. All right, he's doing a behind the back, throwing it, reaching it out, reaching it out, holding it out in front of his body. Whoa, with a great hold out there. And then another punch out with the other arm. There he goes. He's punching it out, bringing it behind the back. Keep it going. Nice reaching it up, reaching it out. There you go. Carla's talking about tonight that fitness social. Byron's still boxing it out with the left hand, reaching out, left hand extension, going around the back. It is hard. It is hard. Now he's going between the knees. He's going between the knees. Nick is stepping up to this challenge right now. There you go, Nick. Nice job. Remember, Nick is on the spot right now. It is like a basketball player on the free throw line. You know you want to do your best, but it is tough. Even though there's nobody blocking you, it is tough. He's doing the sweeper. Byron's doing the low sweep. He's doing the low sweep. He's got to dust off the floor, whatever may be down there. We got to sweep it away. There we go with a little behind the back move. And then he set it on the ground and popped it up in the air. There you go. Going down with the ground tap, bringing it behind the knees. We can all see how quick. Byron is moving here. This is some amazing stuff. He's hanging it out. He's got the back stretch going there. Look at that bag. It's on his back. And he's, just, oh, and he caught it off his back as he stood up. Nice job, Byron. Go ahead and give us some more moves and then bring it on home. Oh, he's throwing it up. Bringing it home. Here he goes. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. His shoulder rest. Got it on the shoulder. Doing the shoulder rest. All right. Up on the other shoulder. Doing the other shoulder rest. Nice job, Chris. Keep doing what you're doing. All the way in with your feet brought in. All right. Keep it going, Byron. Keep it going. Yeah. He's throwing it up. He's bowling it away in three, two, one. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Nick. Nice job. All right. There I'm. Where am I? There I am. Ben, go ahead. And, and before we bring up Bernie, let's bring up the, the studio over here because I know that the Chris – and Nick really wanted to show John. I may need I may need to log back in because I'm it's freezing up on me. So hold on, let me. Okay, no problem. I can some... help. I can help out too. All right, let me grab my mouse. Nick, let's go ahead and go over to that studio spot. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna help out Ben. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in here. Oh, look at that big old snowman there. Who is ready for winter? Who is ready for that snow and all of that? But it's your Nick's ready for it. All right. But we don't have any snow over here in the studio over here. We're set up. We got Chris over here. He's over here on the wall ball wall. Nick's over here on the flat wall. And remember, one of the things that we had had the other day on Wednesday was we had these cool wheels, these things to call core wheels, and they, they roll around. And remember on the box, there was somebody showing you doing something like that. And, and again, very, very difficult exercise. It's a great exercise. But again, some of these where you're maybe just rolling it around or rolling <laughs> under your body, they might be a little more appropriate. Also putting these on the wall. So Nick's going to show us here that again, you can roll these up and down and you can roll them out to the side. And there you go. Get as close to the wall as you can. Let your elbows feel it out. Here you go, Chris. You're going you're gonna to bring it in a little closer. All right. What you going to do? You're going to bring your feet back down. Okay, let's move this over here. There you go. Bring the feet in. Nice. Keep them coming in all the way. Nice job. There you go. That should be good. Let's sweep it on around this way. All right, everybody. So remember, there you go, Nick. Work it out. Try to get a little closer and maybe even lean on that wall, Nick. So we want to try to get a nice fluid like we're like we're painting the wall. There you go. It is. So Nick was saying it's very hard with his right hand. So again, I want you to work on that and just work on putting that pressure. Roll it out. Roll it in. There you go. Roll. There you go. Nice, nice, nice and smooth. That's it. Nice and that's it right there. Doesn't that feel great? Yeah. Keep doing that. 
So again, remember everybody, this was just a moment ago. Is it a little easier? A little bit? A little bit. And that's what we want to do is if something's a challenge for us, we want to try to work on those techniques that are going to help us. Here's Chris. He's going into a left-hand roll too. And now you can see Nick has got this. So again, remember a lot of what we do when we are doing our exercises is we're working on our mind's way, ability to communicate with our body. There you go, Nick. And so in a lot of ways, working out different motions, working on, well, let me get Ben in here. Um, there we go. Ben's back in the house working on these motions, you can see right here, you can see Nick in real time. He is getting this dialed in and he is feeling it out and his body is able to make these connections. And there we go. I got Ben set up again. All right. Welcome back, Ben. All right. Uh, sorry. Sorry. No, not a problem. I, uh, Check I it out, Ben. Nick up. is showing us some incredible stuff here. There you go, Chris. Chris is getting the feel for it too. So remember, everybody, this was a gift from our friend, Mr. John Curtin at the golf tournament, and we're putting these to use. This may not be what you see on the package, but now you can already see Nick's working across the body. Nick's working that transverse plane of motion. And so we get rotation out of the hips. We're getting this pressure up here. We're getting development in the shoulders and in the core. You're doing great, man. Yeah. You're doing really good. So again, everybody, remember the holidays are coming up. We're trying to show everybody some of those cool things that are, might be out there. And again, we also have the kettlebell. We know our friend Bernie's going to be showing us this. We did some kettlebell exercises on Wednesday, and we're going to keep those coming to you as well. So remember, everybody, if you like learning about all this new equipment, if you like seeing these exercises, working out with me and the guys along with us, remember, you got to like, you got to subscribe, get subscribed up. So that way you get notified when it's happening. Nick's working now on that, again, that ground position. So this is going to help us mentally with preparing for that forward position, gravity working on the body. We don't have a stable surface now. He's working with that rolling surface. So again, this is a challenge for the mind. I think it's great. I think it's so cool. Let's go ahead and um, what do we got next? We're going to bring up Bernie for a couple exercises? Yeah, well like I said, like I said, I'm sorry I had to close out. Oh, not a problem, Ben. Not a problem. At, on me. After that, anyway, we're going to go to the me, rope pull. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get a this. Bernie while you set up the rope pull. Sweet. All right. We got our friend Bernie right here. All right. Let me. And there, let me ask her to unmute. All and right. just a reminder, only those that are able to be live streamed can lead. That's right. Yep. Good call, Ben. Uh, hi, hi, Bernie. Say, say something out loud. Bernie, can you hear me? Ooh. I Let's can't see. hear her, John. Bernie, uh, try to say something again after you finish your sip of water. Say something real loud. Can't hear her, Ben? Oh, oh yeah. Can now I can hear her. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, Bernie. Are we gonna do jumping jacks, Bernie? On Friday night, we do um, a a fitness session, right? What's that? She's yeah. asking if we're doing the fitness social tonight. Yep. Yep. Yes, fitness social tonight. Are we gonna do jumping jacks right now? Bernie, are we gonna do jumping jacks right now? Is okay? Yeah, I'll do them with you. Yeah. Right, let me let me pull up the split, split screen. You can come over here, Nick. All right, Nick's gonna do them with us too. All right, I'm gonna do seated jacks. You gonna be standing up? Yep. All right. You wanna do them on the ball? Thank you, thank you, standing. I'm on the ball. Okay. All right. There you go. All right, Bernie, here we go. Jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 10 more, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Great job, Bernie. Let's have a sip of water after that. And 134. Wow, nice job, Bernie. That is excellent. Do you want to lead us in a, can, let's do a kettlebell exercise, okay? Let's do maybe uh, one or two exercises with our kettlebell, okay? Let's do the kettle. Let's do the kettlebell. I got a kettlebell here. I know some people. That's not a kettlebell. Is that what we're gonna do? Well, then let's do the baton spin. You got it. You're the leader. All right. Here she goes. Nick's got a stick. Are you gonna spin the bottle on that one? Here, you go with the stick. I'll take that. Work on your spin. Count loud, Bernie. Count loud. Seven. Eight. Nine. You go, Nick. Spin it. Spin it. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Nice job. You gonna do one more with the stick? How about the back stretch? There you go, Nick. Bring this up this way. Yeah. Bring it down. And bring your arms down here to the side. Yeah. There you go. Here. There you go. That's a good way to do it. Keep your head up. You can be looking up while you're going down. Looking up while you're going down. Looking up while you're going down. Nice. All right. Nice job, Bernie. How about the kettlebell? Let's do the Statue of Liberty. We got a kettlebell right here. Nick's got it. And then after that, we're going to be doing the rope challenge. And I got something new. That's why we're over here on the green screen. And as Bernie got, she's got her kettlebell. I'm going to use my imagination. So remember, you can find these at the discount retailers for like five or 10 bucks. All right. You ready? We're going to reach down. We got to light the fire on the ground. Statue of Liberty. That's right, a Statue of Liberty. Bringing it on down and then lifting it up as high as we can, lifting our arms up. So we go down and light the fire and we lift the torch and lift it higher. There you go. On the ground, bringing it up, pushing it up. Nice job. There you go, Chris. Use your imagination too, Chris, just like me. Seven. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nice job, Bernie. Great job. All right. Nick, go ahead and head on over there. We're going to get ready for this rope chat. Nick's feeling it in his biceps right there. Good stuff, man. All right, everybody, let's have a sip of water with Bernie here. And I'm going to be bringing up a new video to show on the background here. And it is going to be a rope pull challenge video. So let me get this brought up here. I got my green screen on. Me and Nick are going to be right here in the video. And I want to show everybody what this rope pull looks like when we're in the gym. So remember, everybody, this is my buddy, Landon. All right, Nick, you ready? Let's go. We're going to go over that way. Let's set the water down over there, and then I'm going to be getting the rope. Chris, go ahead and pull up just a little bit more. Yeah, I got your water. Go ahead and pull up all the way to the edge of the mats. All the way to the edge, what right up there. Um, hang on for just a second. So remember, everybody, we got this rope pull going right here where you can see Landon's reaching up and pulling and pulling down the rope. So... What I'm going to do is set up, we got another video here. We're going to set this up and I want everybody at home to pull along with Landon. And then there you go. You can see he's pretty happy about that pull. So we're going to be doing this. This is going to be about one minute 
And then we're going to come over here in the studio and you can take a break from pulling and we're going to have Chris and Nick do a, a rope pull challenge. So this is going to be the challenge for everybody out there. Um, Carrie, let's see on this one. If you can give a count for Landon, we're going to see how many you get to with his video when it stops. Does that sound good? All right. So begin. We got my buddy pulling it along. There we go. There we go. Can we hear you, Carrie? Yes. Can you All right, hear me? Awesome. I can hear you. All right. Here we go, everybody. Let's get ready. We're going to get it. It's a whole new video. And there's the rope in three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. 46. He stopped pulling. 47. Oh, there he goes again. 49. 50. 51. 52. 53. 54. 55. 56. 57. 58. 59. 60. 61. 62. 63. 64. 65. 66. 67. 68. 69. 70. 71. 72. 73. 74. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Oh, that was it. That was the 91. Wow. Oh, my gosh. 91 pulls from Landon Take on that Take a water road. break. And he, he had one, one little break. So, remember... That's okay. If you're exercising and you want to take a break and then you're thinking like, well, yeah, I'm going to get started up again. That's okay. You know, it, and he kind of pushed through, but again, that was showing you a real rope challenge there. Now, while that was going on me and Nick and Chris, we set ourselves up with a different kind of rope challenge over here. So you've seen this before, maybe with Chris doing the overhead <laughs> rope pull. But today, what we're going to have different is Nick's going to be here. And he's going to be feeding the rope. It's going to be going up over the wooden stick. And Chris is going to be pulling it down. All right, so Chris, let's go ahead and power down. We want to make sure that this is an exercise where, again, we don't want to just do this without thinking about things. One thing is if we're on a joystick controller, we want to power down because if the rope would fall on the joystick, it could push down. And then that could affect where Chris's position is, and that could make it dangerous. So one thing we can do is power down, and now we don't have to worry at all about that. All right, Nick's over here. Nick, come on over here to my side right here. There you go. Nick's stepping into position. All right. Nice job, Nick. So he's here, and Nick's got the rope, and Carrie's going to be counting. So, Carrie, let's see if we can beat Landon's 91. I know I think we can. But I'm not going to be pulling. I won't be helping except to get Chris this rope. So here we go in three, two, one. And here we go. Challenge is done. Two, oh, there you go. Three, four. Chris is a lot stronger five, than we six, thought right there. Seven, eight, nine. Nice 10, job, man. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Go on, Chris. 25, 26. Last one. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good job, Chris. That that is what teamwork that's what teamwork is all about now you all might have really seen that there here nick have a seat right here you all might have got to see that but 
when Landon was doing that at the gym, that rope was just going around and around and around. And this rope, it has an end to it. And we were trying to, to beat Landon's time and working as a team. Did that feel good? Yeah. Now, who out there saw how surprised I was when Chris made his first pull? Did you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. Hey, my buddy. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. I'm feeling it. You guys are getting real strong. Let's go ahead and make a little bit of a turn back this way. There you go. Let's turn it. And you know what? Because it's Friday, we got time for one more. We're going to squeeze one more in. I know Chris wanted to do this one the other day, and I am curious to see how well it works. So we're going to do a water bottle shakedown, and we're going to do – let's do uh, 60 seconds. 60 second, 60 second water bottle shake. So I'm handing Nick the one gallon bottle. It's about halfway full, but let me show you all this one that I found. And this one has a handle on it, on the outside here. And so we can hold it and we can shake that water around and get that water moving. And that's gonna do some great things for my wrist and for my elbow and everything there. So again, we're gonna power down because we don't wanna affect our movement in place here. And I'm going to grab a water bottle. I got one here from our great friends in ADC. Thank you so much. Remember, Chris, some of our friends there? We love you guys. And let's get ready. 60 seconds shakedown in three, two, one. And shake it up. Here we go. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Oh, wow. That was a fast 60 seconds. Chris, how do you like that? You like that handle? Would you rather have that handle than having it the other way? So there you go. Now we know we're learning. We're we're finding out for this exercise. Sometimes we might want to modify the bottle. Sometimes we might want to try to source out a different kind of bottle. And this one was really cool because it had that handle on here. And you can saw Chris had some good movements coming out of that handle. I thought that was really great. Um, now, is there anybody on here who wants to close us out with hey, that breathing? One thing, Chris, when we do the core wheel, Try to use both hands. Next time, all right? Next time, try to use both hands. We got it. We got it. Next time, we got our leadership in the house. Again, such a great job. Remember, we had Byron. We had Bernie. We had Carrie in the house. And then so many of our friends are here. Remember, we got that dance is coming up here real soon in about two to three minutes. I hope you can join folks there. And then remember, tonight we'll have our fitness social. If you're on YouTube and you haven't subscribed by now, come on, what are you doing? Yo, subscribe. Yo, yo, Get, yo, where yo, is Bernie. it, Nick? I don't know where it is, but Bernie. click that button, hit the bell, whatever. I don't Bernie, know. Bernie wants to do, do the breathing motto. Get on the app. All right. Bernie's going to be doing our breathing motto to close us off here. And Bernie, again, on, on Wednesday, such a great job with that anthem. You did a lovely job. And take it away with the breathing motto. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Breathe in good. Breathe in bad. Breathe in happy. Breathe out sad. Breathe in your best. Breathe out the worst. Breathe in your power. So you reach, you go. Wow, Bernie, excellent job. Nice job, guys.